guys, it's Allie from Allie V Love, and we are here to do a vegan essentials taste test slash haul. So let's get into it. First, I'm going to start with stuff that we don't have to taste test, and I'm going to use on my body. I have vegan vitamin D3. It is 5,000 IU, and there are 60 soft gels. It was quite expensive, but definitely worth it. I am D deficient, which I think I talk about in my first 30 videos in 30 days veganism little chat with you guys. So definitely check that out. I'll link it below in the description if you haven't seen it. And I think I also talk about it on my blog as well. But it's definitely important to get vitamin D if you are deficient. So you should get that checked out with blood tests. I am extremely deficient in D and I usually take about five, uh, 4,000 IU so 5,000 is perfect. Next we are getting into my skin. As I'm sure you guys have noticed I have had some breakouts and I think it's because my um, face is changing because of what I'm eating so it's trying to adjust to the Rotel 4 vegan lifestyle which I love. So I got the Al Alba the Alba Botanica Acne Dot Deep Pore Wash and I will be using this um, probably two to three times a week and it is specifically for deep pore washing which is perfect for me because I've been having blackhead problems so I'm going to use that and my brush to kind of get deepen my pores and get rid of that nonsense. Then we have Age Reversal Renewing Gel Cleanser Naturally Exfoliates and Brightens and this will be kind of like an everyday thing. I have yet to try this brand so I have no I have no idea if I will like this brand or not but I am going to take a look at it. It is vegetarian and vegan gluten free fragrance free. So all the nonsense is gone. If you guys know Jello was probably a big part of your life when you were little or it could have been a big part when you were older as well. Jello has gel gelatin in it which comes from like horse hooves and different things like bones broken up. So now I can not eat bones and have this Jello. It's vegan Jello. And it is strawberry, gluten-free, GMO-free, vegan of course, and no artificial colors or flavoring. So it's 100% natural. I'm really excited to try this because I haven't had Jello in quite a while. So I think this will be a great little treat and it's nice and light. Okay, next we have the frozen group category. And we're going to start with the Guardian. Golden Fishless Fillets. So far, Gardein has become one of my favorite vegan products, and I'm really excited to try this and see if it tastes like fish fillets or tater tots or anything like tater tots. <laughs> um, like the fish sticks. I think that's what they're called. Fish sticks. I haven't had them in so long I forgot the name. Um, I'm really excited to try this and make tartar sauce for it and see how it tastes with tartar sauce. I don't know if, they, if it comes with tartar sauce or not, but I guess I'll find out. I don't think it does. And then we have an all-time favorite. Dosquitos. Dosquitos. Tosquitos. I don't know how you pronounce it. It's chicken style, which isn't really chicken. It's vegan. No trans fat, non-GMO, no cholesterol, and non-dairy. So when I was younger, I used to go with my mom to Sam's Club. And if you guys are from the U.S. and have Sam's Club, you know that they have like a little snack section and then you can go around and have snacks. And in the snack section, they have Tosquitos or Tosquitos. I really like to know how to pronounce that correctly. Um, and I used to get them all the time, so I'm really excited to try a very, very healthy version of it. 
and also not hurt animals in the process. If you live somewhere where it is cold in the winter, you've probably had a pot pie before. I haven't had a pot pie in a really long time. It was something that we used to have in the winters when it was cold and it's just kind of like a warm feeling that you get from it. And I'm really excited that I can get a vegan pot pie that's dairy free, cholesterol free, and has no GMOs and is actually vegan. It has 30% less fat. I'm really, really stoked to try it. Let's get into some taste testing. Okay, if you guys watched my video from last time, you will know the, I think this is pronounced Eli's Earth Bars, and my favorite was the Caramel Coconut and Almonds. I'm really excited to have this again and I'm going to try it on camera for you because I think the video was corrupted last time. I'm so excited. Okay, so this is what the bar looks like. Still as delicious as I remember it. Okay. The next thing I have to try are True Joy Sweets Organic Peppermints Cocoa Chews. I've never tried these before and I'm so excited because I didn't really get to have any candy during the holidays. And I was so craving chocolatey things. This is what the bag looks like. Oh, it smells really good. It's really chewy. It has a slight peppermint taste to it, but also tastes a lot like chocolate. These are definitely a great treat for the holidays, especially for children who are vegan. They have no artificial colors and flavors. They are made without corn syrup. They're gluten-free, they're vegan, and they're kosher. And they're really tasty. All oh, the candy fell on the floor. And my chair is moving. Okay, let's see what else do we want to try. Okay, next is Satan, Satan, Batcher. Gelatin free, gluten free, GMO free, vegan of course. A fruit snack, strawberry alligator, ah, oh, fruit snacks. Okay. So I have a story to go along with fruit snacks. We used to get these dinosaur fruit snacks uh, from my aunt, my great aunt's house, and we'd have them all the time. And she passed away when I was in eighth grade. But before that, they stopped making the dinosaur treats that we liked so now as being a vegan I can't have any of those type of treats I'm really excited to try this and it kind of brings back childhood it smells good they smell so good that's what they look like little alligators they're definitely hard Oh, the flavor is 
so good. Oh my gosh, they're really good. But it definitely tastes like a strong strawberry smell. I got another fruit snack because of course you can't just have one flavor. You have to have two. So I got Seitan or Seitan Batcher Happy Fruits. Gelatin free, gluten free, GMO free, vegan. And they are black currant flavor. So excited to chow down on these. This is what it looks like. Like a little mountain. That is strong. That is strong. I still think these taste really good, but if I had to like vote between the two, I would definitely get these over these. It has the same type of texture, kind of hard chewy. Still tastes really good though. Big fan. I'm going to tell you about these drops, but I'm not going to have them till the end because they're hard drops. So they're going to take a while to get rid of. It's Yum Earth Organics, Organic Candy Drops, Roadside Root Beer. And you know like those barrel root beer drops? They're like one of my favorite candies to like suck on. So now I can have the vegan version. And I will try these in a couple of minutes. They are served for it organic no artificial dyes tree nut free real fruit extracts 100% natural flavors 100 100% vegan gluten-free peanut free soy free dairy free fat free no high fruct excuse me no high fruct corn syrup and on the back of the package it says the best lollipop I've ever tasted they're not really lollipops they're like little candies I'll try this in a little bit I'm really excited for that. What a treat. Okay. Caramel corn. So, I absolutely am a huge, well, was a huge fan of the caramel flavor and still am. Just, I want the vegan version. And when I saw this, I was like, shut up. I have to try it. So, here it goes. They are Chocolate Inspirations Vegan Caramel Corn. What does it say on the back? Ooh, so excited. Oh my gosh, they smell like... They smell really good. They smell like the caramel popcorn that I used to eat. Excuse me while I have two more. Oh my gosh, they're so good. They have got the exact same texture. The exact same taste, kind of that like buttery flavor with the caramel flavor. Oh, so good. You definitely have to get these. They're delicious. I don't know how long those caramel corns are going to last without me because they are really good. And yes, I know I got all junk food. <laughs> okay. I got wafers. Now, I used to not be a huge fan of wafers, but as I got older, I really liked the taste, I think, of the vanilla wafers. So these are Manor Vienna, the original hazelnut, hazelnut cream filled wafers. It says they may contain traces of other nut trees and milk, but in the actual packaging, in the ingredients, there's no milk, so I'm going for it.
They're so cute. I always love the packaging too. Like they look really cute. Cheers. Okay, so they have the same texture and the same flavor as a wafer would have. I just don't think I'm a huge fan of the hazelnut. I don't know, it kind of grows on you. I'm not opposed to it. I'll have to give you an update on these because when I first chewed into it, I was like, this tastes good, but I'm not sure about the hazelnut cream filling. And as I'm tasting it more, I like it, so I have a feeling they're going to become a new favorite. Okay, so our last vegan sweet is a hazelnut snowball. And this is how they're packaged. It's really cute. I have one green one and red, one red one. I got two just in case because you know someone's like, oh, that looks good. Although they're not vegan, they like to try all of my vegan food and eat it all. They get very curious. Alright, I'm going to take a bite out of this because it's kind of big. Wow. Okay, so I've never been a huge fan of something being filled with something, like had a cream in it or something. I was really surprised when I bit into it and it had a cream in it, and that's why I made a face. Overall, I don't think it was a bad taste, but it's not something that I would automatically want. But I would have if it was around. It's an interesting flavor. I like the coconut around it a lot. That was the, that was really tasty. Eating this spinach artichoke dip, which looks quite delish. And I have some regular Tostitos chips that I had in the house. Because you have to try it with something. And this would be my first time, if I can get this open, trying a... Oh my god, what if they do this? It's like they purposely make it hard to open, so you have to ask someone else to open it for you. Oh, jeez, Louise. Okay, so... Little backstory. Whoa, that's potent. Pugnant. Potent? That's potent. Pugnant. <laughs> it's really potent. Um, before I go into this, I used to really like the spinach artichoke dip from Applebee's. And that used to be something that I got for appetizer. So I'm hoping that I like this. It's not the most appetizing look. That's what it looks like. Kind of looks gross, but. I don't think I'm a fan. I think I'd have to have this heated. Holy moly. I can't even describe the flavor because I don't even know how to describe this flavor. But I don't think that I'm particularly fond of it. And I actually like spinach and artichokes. So I don't know if it's just too much artichoke. 
I don't know. I'd have to have this on something. Maybe this would be a good pizza spread. I'm going to try it as a pizza spread. No, I'm not a huge fan. Oh, these all have had sentimental values to me. And this one just happens to be a taste it, a flavor that I liked. So Earth Balance came out with a vegan sour cream and onion flavored kettle chip. And I absolutely loved sour cream and onion chips and sour cream and onion Pringles. So when I saw this online, I was like, this is a must have. So I am going to try it. Oh my gosh. They taste exactly like sour cream and onion chips, but they're good. I'm gonna have trouble not eating this entire bag. Holy moly, they're so good. They taste li literally exactly like them with a crunchier chip and I think a better flavor actually. And probably not a sick feeling after either that I would get because I was eating too much oil. Oh, these are good. They have two grams of protein, two grams of dietary fiber, 15% vitamin C and 2% iron. I definitely highly recommend these. Earth Balance kettle chips that are sour and cream onion flavor and onion flavored. Oh man. Cleanse my palette of all of those foods. I'm gonna now toss a root beer candy into my mouth. Why do we make this impossible to open? Are we serious right now? Why is this so hard to open? Had to break out the scissors. I'm pretty sure this has a reseal, like a resealable close. This is like really hard to open. Holy moly. They really make you work for that little root beer. That's what the packaging looks like. Tastes very similar to the root beer barrels, but it's got a little bit of a different flavor. Kind of a more natural, a more natural taste to it. It's very good. I was very pleased with every, like the quality of all of the brands that I tried and the taste very similar and some of them were okay and some of them were really 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 good so I will definitely be getting from vegan essentials again you guys have a 10% off code down in the description and then probably somewhere in here so you can get 10% off of your vegan essentials purchase and I hope you guys enjoy my vegan essentials taste test I look forward to showing you guys a taste test of the Have an Enlightening and Adventurous Day.